The question is, was his action reasonable? That is, does you, you, you understand me? I mean, it goes back to the constitutional. You understand review. me? So that is what the law provides. The man cannot act outside the law. But what we are saying is, is that he should have, you know, applied the maximum sentence. So you can only bring the judge to book if you have evidence that the man was influenced by some other considerations. I mean, outside the courtroom. And we don't have such evidence here. And, and let me tell you, and we should be very careful in, the, in trying to malign the reputation of anybody if you don't have evidence. So the presumption is that he acted based on what he saw in court. Now, that is why we have the appellate court process. If you are dissatisfied with it, the civilized method, we can criticize the judge for what, and that's what we are doing. We can analyze the judgment. You understand me? But that is his own view. And he's entitled to his view. Tell us so, about and a thing. judge has a right to be right and to yeah. be wrong. So if you feel dissatisfied with it, what's the option left to you? Okay. Go on appeal. Take that option. Yes. All right. In the context of uh, justice not just being done, yes. but justice being seen to have been done, okay. as they say, and then he has those three options within the law. Yes. Having chosen the one he did, do you think if in consideration of the fact that justice needs to be seen to have been done by members of the public, would it have mattered insofar as he's still stuck within those rules? I think uh, in looking at the scenario of this case, we should, uh, like I said, we should look at it holistically. John Yusuf is now an ex-convict. He carries that stigma for life. That's one advantage. Secondly, 32 prime properties have been forfeited to the federal government. Do we know how much they are worth? Uh, well, this, this will be in the millions <laughs> now. And, the, and we are looking at 325 million now recovered. This, you, should co you should commend the LCC for that. How, did they, how were they able to locate all these properties? Scattered throughout the country. Some, some of them in Gumbi, some of them in Abuja. Yeah, that, that's this that's that's investigation. I'm saying that this is some gays. The only thing is that the man should have not been allowed to walk away like that. Do you think justice was done? Uh, like I said, I, I was disappointed. Because I believe that a common man, a poor man in his circumstances will not have that luxury. That's why I'm saying that we should have a, a different set of laws for the rich and for the poor if, if we are to move this country forward. So looking at it, everybody will say, ah, the man just, he just goes into his car and walk away. Making a mockery of our judiciary. Now, in other crimes, how do they handle such issues? And you mentioned that. Sometimes they treat corruption very seriously, life imprisonment. In Nigeria, some people have their arms amputated or their limbs amputated you understand for me? stealing a chicken. You, you understand me? That is the problem. That is the moral. But I think the bigger blame should go to the lawmaker. Because two years, okay, if uh, Justice Tauber wanted, could he, could he impose 10 years? He could not. If he wanted, could he impose 20 years? He could not. Because his, his hands are tied by the law. He could only impose two years or with an option of fine or both. So I think the, what we should look is in the direction of law reform, amending the law. So that we treat, we do not treat those who steal our funds with kid gloves. The law does not encourage them to do that. So we need strong laws, strong laws, and we need our you know parliamentarians at various levels to sit up, look at our laws on corruption, for instance, and yeah. see how they can be amended, you know, to meet the seriousness of the offence. Okay, well that's interesting because there's some perspective just coming through. Uh, about the EFCC Act. And I think, let, let me also mention it. First, I listened to Fesu Skayamo. Yeah. And I was impressed with his delivery. He made, he made certain, you know, suggestions. And I think we should also look into, in that direction. About uh, amending the laws. Amending the laws and, the and then suspending sentence and all that. Okay. Very all right. impressive delivery.